Hello guys, welcome back, and this might be, I can't really work out what the time is, but on my YouTube account, it's only 10 minutes long, the videos, I, I don't know, but when I uploaded my painting tank vid uh, video, it was taking a very long time to upload, and you shouldn't really do that, because I've got a good internet connection, but uh, this might be part two of the birthday update slash on the coach view and uh, um, we're going to have a quick look at this coach um, I don't have my screwdriver with me because I don't know where it's gone I've been looking everywhere for it but I can't find it so I'm going to basically use my hands uh, to point out all the little details uh, if it gets in the way I'm sorry but uh, there's nothing I can do about that but uh, we just have to carry on uh, we're going to have a look at the detail and see uh, what it's like and wow what can I say amazing it is really really nice look at it uh, you've got different types of coaches for um, for Hornby you've got um, the teak coaches which are the L-N-E-R ones which Fly Scotsman uses uh, you've got the Pullman coaches, you've got the Maroon coaches, you've got the Sutherland coaches and a few other ones which I can't remember uh, what ones they are but they're the main ones and this is another one I don't know what this is if anyone tell me if, if they have one is it a blood um, blood or cream delivery is it red and cream delivery is it white and red uh, delivery or is it? I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know what delivery it is. I, I'm looking on eBay, and they all look the same. And my mate said it's blood and cream, but I've been looking on there, um, on eBay, and all that, and they don't look nothing like this. The corridors along here are much longer, and I think that's not right. So I'm hoping you guys out there tell me what what colour are these. Um. This is a brake coach, so you've got the brakes here. Well, it is a brake coach, so this will either go in front of the train or the back of the train. And basically, if if there's any danger, the um, person who rides along the back will uh, put the brakes on. And well, I really don't know, really, <laughs> but. Uh, that's what I'm presuming, and basically they'll stop the train with that brake. Um, as you can see, there's so much detail. You've got this black wire here, which I think is a handrail. You've got this little bit here, which has actually small circle windows in them. Uh, along the side, you've got lovely, like, crimey looking handrails or double handrails and hopefully if the train can stop move if the coach can stop moving you have actually got symbols there oh come on camera don't do this to me don't do this to me come on you got symbols there now I don't know what that is because I need uh I can't really see tiny things but if anyone knows just comment below and I think they no smoking signs um, but yeah all nice down there there's an uh, that is the actual number for this coach S6644S which is very nice you've got a black um, a white bit here which I think is a curtain and and that is nice, as you can see there, you can see it clearly, you've got chrome, chromey sort of handrails there. Um, at the front of the coach, oh god blimey, this is moving ev everywhere, Jesus Christ, why is this, this table ain't, well I'm going to, this table ain't slanted, I don't know why it's moving, it's, well look at it, look, it's soundless, you can't actually hear no grinding noise. Um, but this has well, not very spring buffers, but spun buffers anyway. You got wire going along here, 
and along here and up there which I don't know what that is for but I think that's for electrics and all that you've got NM coupling as you as you can see the, it bends like so um, oh man this coach moves, moves everywhere um, <laughs> same on the other side and on the back same as the front really um, except for you got footstep, um, you got well, it's actually not the same. You haven't got no wires here, and there's uh, steps going up here. So what is that for, really? Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna quickly get another coach out, and I'm gonna show you what the coach up couplings are like. So I'm gonna stop this video and come back in a while. Hi guys, welcome back and this is going to be a little clip on ha how different the um, each couplings are and on this end you can see that this is fitted with normal NEM couplings and as you can see here there is a big gap in between, in between. even if I push them together it's still big. Uh, sadly I lost one of the hooks on this one uh, but luckily I've still got a hook on that one so you can still see what it looks like and the difference between that one and uh, sorry about this but I have to just lift it and that one is that you can just see that there is more there's less clearance between the corridors here than there is with normal cuppings and as you can see there that's how they couple up. That's that's the couplings, and how you actually take them off is with those like hook things there. What um what you do is have something underneath, which I think. Oh wait, I have something here, which I think will be pretty good for that actually. I've got a spare screwdriver here, not the one that I use all the time, but it's a bigger one here and what you do is just it's quite difficult with this lift it up well I'm not going to do it really but if you just lift it up I'll f hopefully it should no it won't, it won't come apart but there, there's two hooks there and what it will do is it will release these two um, these two coaches and basically it will be a uh, normal coupling but the bad point is if you try and hook a locomotive uh, with these couplings are on you have to change them over uh, even if if your locomotive does have a NM socket which is like these ones here with the two prods you, you could try and find a spare one and use that so it will also make the coach, um, the coach, and the locomotive close together. But if you have one of those big chunky couplings, and it doesn't have that prod, you can't use it. So you have to use something else. Uh, that's a disappointing thing. But yeah, you can see clearly that it does have actually sprung buffers. Well, it does. It really does, but it's very stiff. That they are sprung buffers, and I'm amazed that they actually done that because. Ten pounds for a coach. They usually have stiff buffers or non-spun buffers. And wow, even they are they are actually silver, not plastic that like some locomotives actually have. <laughs> um, that's actually pretty amazing. But uh, what what I would say is, if you find coaches like these and you have a BR layout, go for it. Uh, if you like the NER uh, coaches, go for that as well. But I should warn you, they are so expensive now. One of my mates from you on YouTube, uh, I'm not going to say your name because I don't want to uh, be like a advertising person. But he's got one and then um, ER coach and costing forty pounds for just one coach. I bought three coaches for forty pounds. And it's sort of like a bargain, really. You get what you pay for. 
And before I do go, this is what, oh, what these black strips are. You can see they've got white on them, and I don't know why they suck two together. I don't know if that was me who done it or whatever. But if anyone can comment below, what are these for? What are these really for? Are they for the top of the um, coaches or what? But comment below. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Uh, I think it's not as good as pain, uh, my other videos, but obviously I'll, I'll, I'm in a bit of a panic mood because I've got loads of GCSE, uh, GCSEs to do, and oh, I'm actually really starting to get annoyed because the government, obviously, some people might know, they put the grade boundaries up. And I, in most of my tests, I've got C's and D's, and I want to get B's and C's. So that really peeing me off, but I'm hoping to get good grades. Um, but enough of that. I'll see you later on, guys, and the next video will be at Alexandra Palace. It'll be a great show, and if anyone's going to it, I'll meet you there. Bye.